Hey there, welcome back to our channel. Today we have an exciting video for you as we will explore a powerful and brilliant tool. Literally, it is brilliant because the name is Brilliant Directories. If you're looking to create, manage, and monetize online directories, you're in the right place. Join us as we dive into the features, benefits, and overall value of Brilliant Directories. So here we go, let's open up our browser and here is Brilliant Directories on AppSumo. As you can see, 92% discount on Brilliant Directories is running. So let's get to their official website. Brilliant Directories is a comprehensive platform that empowers you to build and run your own online directories with ease. Whether you're starting a directory for local businesses, professionals, or any other niche, Brilliant Directories has got you covered. Let's take a closer look at what this tool has to offer. So to get started, we're gonna click on try free demo and then you're gonna insert your name, insert your email address and insert your phone number. And then you should click on show me the demo. After clicking show me the demo, as you can see, uh, we should check our email inbox. It might land in your spam or junk folder. So be sure to check that as well. And then after going to your email account, you'll find the email confirmation your demo directory is live. And then we have front end demo and admin console. To get to the front end of your directory, you can click on front end demo. And also you can go to admin console by clicking on admin console. Here your username and password will be provided. You just need to click on login now. And here we go, it's the front end control. I mean the front end of the directory that has been made for us in demo version. All right, so there's nothing much in the front end, guys. So we're just gonna click close the front end. And then we have the back end of our directory. As you can see, we can view our active websites that are active in our directory. So we have all-in-one demo, brilliant directories, property listing demo, a product catalog demo. I haven't set up these. These are just demo data because I'm using the demo version and that's kind of good because um, if I have much more data like demo data then I'll be able to make you guys understand even better that what to do with it and if I like it better then I might even purchase the application myself so here we go we have demo user logged in as demo user you can also sign out from here you can refer friends and earn 50% all right so there's nothing much here so we're gonna go to dashboard menu so let's go ahead and view our websites and go to account dashboard i mean all right so here are the websites so which one should we manage now all right now let's go ahead and not manage something that doesn't have too much users like 10,000. so we're gonna go ahead and select a medium one like 25 so city guide demo website login as you can see we have the back end of the website and then we can visit the website if we want Local business directory, you can change anything that you want. Uh, let me see if I can change it from the front end. As you can see, I did this page. Well, maybe not, because if I click here, it will take me to the back end. All right, so if I edit from there, then it'll take me to the back end, but it will redirect me to the exact location where I should edit that content. But we can also edit that from here. As you can see, we have web page builder, manage posts, so we can manage from there but if you want easier ways then you can also do that create button links well we can change these things as you can see if i misspell something l let's give it a triple t and make it wrong although it's not right so we're gonna save changes please wait as you can see these changes have been saved now i'm gonna go ahead and refresh this page all right now there should be a triple button here as you can see click create button links now we have triple buttons there all right so guys so as you can see you're changing it so simple you can change anything that way all right so let's go ahead and explore the back end of the website here you can view your members you can edit membership plans you can view member revenue you can view web pages create web page manage posts manage media and on the toolbox we have menu manager sidebar manager and forms manager so what first on the sidebar, we have web page builder, managing posts, editing posts, SEO templates, etc. Here we have membership leads, reviews, post comments. We have membership plans, transaction history, forms inbox, sidebar manager, menu manager, forms manager. So first of all, we're gonna view our members. 
So we should have 25 members. As you can see, all of our team members are here. And no, which member have got us well, how much revenue? No revenue here. As you can see, we have revenue from these members, posts due, no revenue. All right, so we can search name from them. All right, we can search our members from here. As you can see, search name, ID, or URL. Let's go ahead and search a member. I have actually noted down this name earlier on. So it should be able to. As you can see, we have got Mr. Chow. So the search engine works pretty well. You can also add members manually by clicking on add new member. As you can see, active or non-active uh, membership plan. You can select your membership plan, premium listing paid, basic listing, uh, website administrator, and general user profile. All right, so as you can see, you can add members this way. And then you can create login password, first name, company name, phone number, and then that member will be able to log into your admin panel from using that password. All right, so now let's go ahead and refresh the live website. Now this website is has been refreshed. So we're gonna go to the dashboard and now we are gonna edit other web pages. So let's go ahead and view web pages. As you can see, we have so many web pages here, home page, pricing page, about page, contact us page, terms of use page, so many pages. So which page do I edit today? So I'm gonna now edit about us page. As you can see, we have page contents here, hero selection, SEO settings. Starting off with SEO settings, as you can see, we have page meta title, meta description, meta keyword. After that, we have hero selection. You can select your hero image, overlay color, top padding, overlay visibility, bottom padding, etc. You can enable your hero selection. And then we have page content. As you can see, this is an image. You can also set image caption if needed. You can change image if, uh, image if necessary. As you can see, if I uh, set image caption, then the image will be enlarged. Or you can also select to have the larger image if necessary. But if I enlarge the image, then these texts will go on side. So I'm not moving the text, okay? I'm just gonna select the image here and see what else I can do with the image. We can set image caption. Well, let me change it and type down test caption. All right, so now we're gonna click on view page. As you can see, we have about now, but there are no captions under here or neither the text have been changed. So what we are gonna do is we're gonna change a few texts. Well, not here. All right, search members. I'm going to type down test here and I'm also going to change this image just because of testing purpose. So let's go ahead and change the image. As you can see, I have changed the image and it's being uploaded now. Well, none of the changes has been saved to the website that is opened here. So even if I refresh, nothing will change. As you can see, nothing has been changed and nothing will be changed unless I have clicked on the save settings. So here we go. We have save changes. So let's go ahead and save the changes that we have made. As you can see, successfully changed. And now we can refresh the page and see that what changes we have made. As you can see, search members test here, test caption is here, and the image is loading. So the image was successfully uploaded. So as you can see, guys, you can manage your web page and build it, edit it, do lots more with it. Alright guys, so our page has been loaded and on the top side we have website alerts. So if your website has any problem, then website alerts will pop up. So what can you do to uh, prevent this pop up? As you can see, uh, you'll please turn on the settings to use latest JavaScript files. So latest JavaScript files are not being used, so we have to turn on the settings, right? So we have turned on the settings. I really like the animation that it's making. Okay, so let's go ahead. And no website alerts are available now. So I'm gonna, just gonna close the window and let's see if the website alert goes away. So the website alert went away. And as you can see, I can visit my account from here, uh, view my websites. No, I'm not viewing my websites because I'm already viewing one. So I'm not gonna view anyone at the moment. And let's see if I can delete a page. So I'm gonna delete this page now. Actually, I'm successful. So this about us page should have been deleted. Let's go ahead and refresh it again. All right. So 404, this page does not exist. Now we're gonna go back to homepage city guide demo homepage. All right, that's a very sad thing that my page has been deleted. Now, is there any way to get that page back? 
So page deleted. How about control Z? It brings back everything. And why not a page? Or right, the sad part that the page that we have deleted will not be back. An undo delete option would have been good because you can accidentally delete a page or you just might want to try the delete button once in a while and you just want to undo your mistakes. Well that's a sad part because brilliant directories are not offering us that option at the moment so we are just gonna have to stick with deleted pages and not recovering them. Alright so moving down to the bottom we have uh, email templates, form sandbox. Let's go ahead to sidebar manager. Well I was thinking about this sidebar manager here and what do we have here? We're gonna close these windows because we don't need them anymore. So what do we have here sidebar manager so member profile page let's see all right member profile page post search results these are sidebars all right home page with map lead page sidebar so i guess these are the sidebars of our main pages okay so we got it home page with map so these are the sidebars of our main pages and if we modify these then uh, the sidebars will be modified from our main pages as you can see all of these are here they can be modified to your likings uh, since I don't know much about bootstraps I'm not gonna touch them right now and I'm just gonna leave them being themselves so we have general settings here you can change your website name to city, uh, city guide demo to anything else you can change your phone number you can change your industry name professional name anything else we have brand images, social media, localization, then we have search settings. After that, we have design settings. So we have website design here, main design. We have header design. You can change colors. Uh, you can design your headers, everything and so on from here. You can change your text labels. As you can see, text labels can be changed. Lots of customizations are provided by brilliant directories and no that's just google chrome doing okay so we're gonna go back to our dashboard and then if you want to manage any other websites then you can just click on manage website again and go to the main account dashboard and select another website manage any other website that you need to so in conclusion guys brilliant directories is a powerful platform that simplifies the process of creating managing and monetizing online directories with its user-friendly interface, customizable templates, membership management capabilities, and advanced search options, Brilliant Directories provides all the essential tools you need to run a successful directory. Whether you're a business owner, entrepreneur, or organization looking to create a directory, Brilliant Directories will offer you a robust solution. And you can also purchase Brilliant Directories from AppSumo in only $89, which would have costed you $1,069 for its lifetime plan, but you're getting the lifetime plan in only $89. So guys, uh, the link will be provided in the description. You can use that link to purchase the product if you like this product. And if you think anyone you know, you like your friend or family will be helped by using this software, then please share it with them. We hope this overview of Brilliant Directories has been helpful. And if you like this video, then don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more software reviews and helpful tips. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.